Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Oh boy, we got a new season. Season 47 is upon us. This is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Stairway to Heaven, which I believe we fought them before. Now, this is going to be interesting uh, for this season. Basically, last season was horrible. People did not like it. So our leader said, you know what? Let's see what Kabam does. They've gotten a lot of negative feedback. Let's see what they do. Kabam decided that things were fine. They, they I think they tweaked like a, a few things, but nothing that made a huge difference. So our leader said, okay, we're going to take a relaxed stance this season. And what we're going to do, if it looks like we can, you know, beat the guys without too much resources. We'll do that. Otherwise, we are going to treat it like it's an off season. And I like that. All right, let's see who they've uh, banned. Oh, Kingpin and Shuri. Interesting, because I was just trying to take Shuri up so I could use her for this crappy meta. What do you know? Anyway. Um, hey, Silk is uh, banned immune and void, so that's something. All right, let's um, take a look at what they have planned for us here. All right, so we've got Sauron first up. So automatically, I'm thinking Lady Deathstrike. We've got uh, Doom. He doesn't benefit from that node, but he's very annoying. So, uh, I could bring in, actually, you know, I might bring in Scorpion. Scorpion might be a good, um, I might have a, a nice good trial. Um, I have not used Scorpion in war, I don't think. Uh, definitely not since I, I just leveled him up. So, I might do that. Let's see the rest of the path. All right, so, hmm. Um, Lady Deathstrike can take Sauron, and she can take that Emma Frost. If I bring in Scorpion, he can definitely take Doom and possibly... Uh, someone else. So, hmm. I think the third one might be a little wild card. I do not like fighting um, Jessica Jones. So, I, and I know, who did I use against Jessica Jones? I'll bring in somebody specifically for her. Um, trying to remember, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, uh, but definitely I'm going to bring in Lady Deathstrike and I'm definitely going to bring in Scorpion. Maybe Scorpion. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe Quicksilver. Cause the thing that's so annoying about her is the, um, when she goes unstoppable. So, yeah, I might just bring in a Quicksilver for her. All right. I think that's the plan, unless um, I find out that that's not a good option. I'll swap Quicksilver for someone else, for that Jessica Jones. All right. Uh, we'll be right back with the fighting. All right. So I'm going in with Lady Deathstrike, Scorpion, and Valkyrie. Should be interesting. Um... You guys have seen, if you watched last season, you've seen the power of Lady Deathstrike. Now, she might not be the fastest, but for this particular meta, oh yeah. She is really good, especially against mutants like Sauron. So we're going to see that right now because that's exactly who I'm going to bring against this Sauron. Now, leadership told us that we were going to be taking this season a little bit more relaxed and easy unless we saw that there was a chance to win. 
Okay, so basically on a case by case basis, I'm taking it easy anyway, but yeah, still don't want to die and still don't want to let my team down. So I can't take it as easy as I would like. Now, I want you to notice something. Notice he got the unblockable, but it didn't actually go. When Lady Deathstrike puts a heal block on a mutant, they cannot get unblockable. Okay, so that's one thing. But now, see here? He caught me. Look at my health. Don't matter, does it? Because, again, another thing that Lady Deathstrike can do is she heals back from special one and two if she has time because of course if it does too much damage she's just going to go down if she doesn't have enough health but as you can see she is the perfect safe option for a fight like that you know even if he did go unblockable who cares i'll still heal it up all right now i was talking about um Dr. Doom, and I'm like, yeah, can definitely do, uh, Scorpion can do this fight. Now, you don't want to do the shock debuff because Doom is shock immune. So I went with Rupture because very few are Rupture immune. I think Scorpion is currently the only one. There might be someone else that I'm forgetting, but I know Scorpion is Rupture immune or can be Rupture immune. Uh, so all I'm doing here, look at that, man. Look at that. Now, this right here annoys me. Did you see how I got hit at the end? This happens mainly in war. When I'm not in war, I can block the first part of it and evade out of the last part. But in war, it don't usually work very well. And I have to remember not to do that. I should have just blocked it and I would have lost less health. But, oh man, that just annoys me because I could do it everywhere else. No problem, but in war, no. All right, now when we were doing our planning, I was trying to remember who was good for Jessica Jones. Right after I made that recording, I remembered Valkyrie. She is the natural enemy of Jessica Jones. Now, one of the things that uh, I have to be careful of, of course, is that I'm running the Recoil Masteries, Double Edge Liquid Courage. So as you can see, my health is going down, okay? And the more, uh, the more um, specials I throw, the worse it is. Now, once Valkyrie has a Pierce buff, I don't have to worry about the unstoppable. That's the main thing that Jessica Jones has that we find her so annoying of a defender, but it doesn't matter. Now see here, because I've already lost a lot of health, I should have just fired off my special three instead. All right, here we go. And we're baiting it out. Come on. Come on. Still losing health because, of course, that um, poison doesn't stop. And I lose more health because the AI don't want to do anything. All right? Now, she has that unstoppable. But look at this. I can hit her like she doesn't have an unstoppable at all. As long as I have a pierce buff. All right? Go ahead, girl. Mm. Look at her. Look at her. Just standing there, twitching. Okay, now she want to throw stuff. But see, I don't mind. Now, can you imagine fighting this if you don't have a proper counter? Look at my health, by the way. She has not hit me. Not once. And at the end of the screen, you know, you can pause and see what did so much damage i only threw one special three and i think one other special and the ouchie mastery she's not ouchie mastery friend friendly look at this 
Almost all of the damage came from that poison. Um, but she is still a great option. You just have to be, I have to be very careful not to get hit too much or else, you know, I can get taken out real quick. All right. Now we've got Emma Frost and again, mutant. And we have, she's immune to so many different things, but guess what she's not immune to? Ruptures. So again, Lady Deathstrike is a great option for her. But here's something else. Even though she's not, um, that she can go unblockable, her specials are not difficult to evade. She's been in the game long enough that I can easily evade her specials. Now, she's not awakened, which means I have to remember to evade normally. There's no inverted controls when she's not awakened. All right, so here we go. And it doesn't really matter um, if she goes unblockable. Watch this. Look, look at that. It's so far away, you know? So I can easily evade that, no problem. See? Look at this. Boom, boom. And the nice thing about it, even if I get hit, I'll heal it up. Doesn't matter. And you'll notice that she's not unblockable in any of those. As long as she has that um, heal block on her from Lady Deathstrike. Mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that. Just ripping her up. Now, Lady Deathstrike, she's not exactly friendly to the uh, Ouchie Masteries, but if I get hit, I can actually heal up for much more than the damage and so I can kind of recover you know so it's kind of a healing and still end up with like a full health bar if I gotten hit a few times with that I probably would have ended up with a full health bar it's kind of counter uh, intuitive so I don't often do it you know because I, I tend to play trying not to get hit uh, but anyway, so we're doing well so far. Horrible things are going to happen soon. All right. But we're still doing good. No deaths. Beautiful, right? Now we've got Titania. Now she's not a mutant. But remember, she heals. Lady Deathstrike heals. High energy diet means we can't use anyone that does energy-based attacks or else you, you're just not going to be able to beat them. It's just not going to work. All right. So we just have to watch out for that haymaker when it's up. You know, try to stay away from her. She was playing nice and staying away from us. And then we just go in. And we don't do that when she has haymaker ready. Look at this. Now, some of them I tried. Now, remember what I told you about her health, okay? Watch, because in this fight, I do get hit. And while she's not exactly friendly with the ouchies, she's sustainable. Look at this. That's unblockable. Look at my health. Did you see how it jumped up? Because I'm healing for more. And I got really lucky right there. <laughs> All right, so look at this. You know what I entered the fight with. I'm at 95% now. And I pushed it to a special two because I was just playing around trying to learn how to evade it. And now I'm at a full health bar. Like I said, she's sustainable. So this is a pretty safe fight. Woo, almost got it. Almost got it. You see how I'm practicing? I'm using this to practice. Now, you notice that I was able to block her unblockable yeah nice steadfast uh buffs if i remember correctly all right so here i pushed her there all right let's see nope i just blocked most of that but i'm still trying to get the timing on her uh special two which is why you keep seeing me push her to the special two her special one i can evade sometimes but look at that. Got hit. Doesn't matter. 
Her health, those, those nanobots are doing work. You know, not exactly a fast fight, but a very safe one. Yep, and I'm back to full. Full, now, now, now can you imagine? You get hit in order to heal. Uh oh, what, what, what? Ooh, got it. So I need to practice that. So I got one good full evade of her special two. Gotta practice that. Now her special two is easy when you're not rooted. Thanks, Kabam. Um, but when you're rooted, you really gotta be on point. Yep. Missed up, messed up, but finished with a full health bar. See how that worked? So I'm doing good. Got my path cleared. Got my mini cleared. And then something happened. Our officer, the one who assigns um, the fights, he was working, very busy, and he made a mistake. And didn't have a proper counter ready for Bullseye. Now, you know Bullseye is a new champion, so he's already going to be tough because people aren't used to fighting him. And then on this node, the interaction on this node is also very difficult. So his advice to me, of course, you know, we're all still learning, is to play it slow. Problem is, you can't really play it slow against Bullseye on this node. If it was on another node, maybe. But on this node, you try to play it slow and you're going to be taking degen damage. And his specials do a lot of damage. Okay? So you've got Stunning Reflection, which I hate, but I've learned to deal with. Polka Dot Power, which is fine because the Ruptures will give me power. But the Brute Force, that's going to eat away if I try to play slow. And because his specials do so much damage, you want to have good health. You're not going to be able to regen, and you're going to see what happens. Okay? So here we go. We're going in. Can't really uh, parry, but that's good. But now here, now you've got to wait this out. And I accidentally parried him. Look at this, look at this. But look, see my health? But I'm getting degen now. Now he's not fighting. Finally, I got that. I got a chunk gone because of the degen. Okay, now he has his auto block up. So I can't fight him. Now the degen's going again. And he's backing off. See how it's going? Look at my health. Because of that interaction, you have to wait out the auto block and you had to wait out the, um, look at this. Um, I can take his specials as long as I have enough health. But what's eating my health away is that degen. If it wasn't for the degen, we could be good. Okay? And then he just took me out. Fun, right? So I already knew that that was likely to happen. And so I told him, I said, okay, look here. That ain't going to work. Um, it happened the way I, I thought it would. And he was like, well, we got to get him down. Got to get him down. And I'm like, Ugh. so much for my relaxing time. Look how much time we have left. 23 minutes. Like I said, it was just a mistake. Now, there is someone else who went in and tried like once or twice, I think. It didn't go good for them. So you see me sitting here. That's what I'm doing. I'm asking them. I'm like, look, I died. You want me to go back in? You know, I was like, because it ain't going to go so well. I already see how it's going. And he was like, yep, you have. we have to get it down. We have to get it down. So... Basically, I'm not going to uh, make you guys watch the entire thing. I will uh, speed it up. But basically, I just threw myself at him. Um, I think the the there was one time I actually revived and healed back up to give it a good try. 
But somewhere around this time, we saw that we were going to lose this um, war no matter what. You know, we there was too much of a difference. It, it was a wrap, okay? And so I stopped healing up and just started using revives and going back in, revive, go back in. Um, you see, I'm looking all over the place and, and all that good stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to speed it up and then we'll be back. But like I said, we kind of know already what um, the outcome of this war is going to be. All right. So give me a, a quick minute. Let the thing play a little bit and then we'll be back and you guys will see how this war ended. And we're back, and of course, we lost this war. First war of the season is a loss, not the worst. We can recover, but like I said, uh, we're supposed to be taking it pretty easy. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Let's uh, take a look down. Um, the reason that we haven't explored all of the uh, map, we had someone go AWOL. That's being addressed and fixed. So, like I said, we, we kind of already knew that this war was going to be a loss. Okay. And there you go. Shout out to our MVPs. And that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. And you all have a blessed day.